Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In today's session, we are going to talk about Panda's date range and period range function in greater details. So guys, these two functions play very important role in terms of date range based on a specific period or frequency. So today I'm going to tell you these two functions in greater detail. So guys, let's go to the Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, I have to import the library, which is Pandas as PD. So guys, what is the date range and how we can create the date range? So simple, you can write here PD dot date range. So look at this. So guys, this is the signature and doc string. If you want to read, then you can read the doc string of this particular function. So there are lots of parameters, start and periods, frequency and time zone and so on. Okay. So if you are really interested, let's say what does each parameters in greater detail. So you can read this, right? So for an example, let's say I want to create a date range on a specific period. So how we can do that? So guys, I'm taking a variable, let's say date range and equal to PD date range. And guys, first of all, you have to provide here starting position and your ending position. So start position equal to start position means let's say start date. So let's say 2022 and here and equal to 0731 and 2022. So now let me run this. So if I'm going to print this particular variable, then you will see. So guys, you can see here date range function will generate all the date between the specific period and here the by default frequency is particular day okay so d is basically for the day right so if you will check the data type of this particular variable and this is nothing this is the date time index okay now let me change the frequency from day to month so guys please keep in your mind when you are going to use this particular function so by default your frequency will be date so you can see here right now let's say we are not frequency equal to none but when you provide a specific date so by default your frequency will be day right so this thing you have to keep in mind now i have to change the frequency from day to month so pd and date range and guys let's say again start equal to so 01 01 2022 and here 12 and 31 and 2022. So again, we are getting the frequencies D. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to change the frequency to M. M represent to the month. Okay. So look at this. So guys, you can see here 31st of Jan 2022, 28 Fab 2022, and so on so forth. So we are getting the last day of our particular month, right? So now in case, let's say if you want to change this frequency, uh, you know, for every two months, so what you will do. So again, you can take this particular line and simple, you can print here. And right now, let's say I want only period and guys, I want only, let's say six months only, right? And the frequency should be every two months. So two M. Now you can see here, so right? So 31st of Jan and 31st of March and so on and so forth. So guys, this particular function is very, very important in case you are going to generate some specific date based on a specific period and frequency. Okay. Now, in case you want to change the time zone information, so you can change the time zone information as well. So how we can do that? So let me copy this line once again, and I'm going to paste here. And guys, let's say I want only time zone equal to Asia and Tokyo. So look at this. Okay. So this is the particular date range based on Asia, Tokyo time zone. Okay. And similarly, I am going to change again the frequency based on the second. So look at this. So I'm getting the date range based on the second. So this is the zero zero. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. And now I'm going to change the frequency once again to hours. So you will get the information into the hours. Okay. And similarly, we have another function. The function name is period range. Okay. So, guys, let me show you the syntax and the talk string of this particular function. 
So this is the, again, you have to pass start and end and periods and frequency and name. Okay. So this is the return of fixed frequency period index. Okay. So the day calendar is the default frequency. Okay. So what is the default frequency? Again, the day. Okay. So guys, let me show you a couple of examples so that you can easily understand in greater detail. So PD dot period range. And here, let's say 01, 01, 2022. And guys, I want frequency in month. Okay. So frequency in month. And I want to generate 12 months. So look at this. Right. And similarly, in case you want to generate 12 years, so you can generate the 12 years as well. Okay. So here, let's say 2022. And my frequency right now will be year. Okay. And how many years you want? So for an example, again, I want only the 12 years. So look at this. And similarly, what we can do, you know, we can change the frequency to the quarter as well. Okay. So control Z, copy and paste. So look at this. Okay. So this is the first quarter of 2022. And this is the second quarter of 2022 and so on and so forth. Okay. And guys, in case, let's say you want to, you know, check month between the specific quarter, right? So what kind of month we are getting the specific quarter? So how you can get those months? So PD dot period range and here start equal to PD dot period. Okay. And you can define the specific period here. Let's say two, zero, two, two and the quarter one. And you can, you know, use here let's say frequency frequency i want only the q okay and my end position will be let's say pd dot period and here 2022 two, two, and guys quarter two okay so let me enclose in a single quote and here i want the frequency so the same frequency i want here in quarter okay and guys, what I want, I want month. Okay. So guys, you can define the frequency, which is month. Okay. Now let me run this. So you can see here. So the quarter one of 2022 and two quarter two of 2022, what kind of month we are getting here? So like guys, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And guys, similarly, let's say in case you want to check the week wise frequency. Okay, so now let me tell you how can I do that. So PD dot period range. And again, the start equal to 01, 01, 20, and And equal to, so let's say, so 31 and 03 and 2022. And guys, the name you can define here, let's say week wise frequency. So guys, you can see here, actually we are getting the frequency in date wise. So we have to change the frequency to the week. Okay. So guys, by default, the frequency is day, right? So now I want in week. So look at this. Okay. So 27 to two and for three to nine, for one to 16 and so on, so forth. Sorry, for 10 to 16, 17 to 23 and so on, so forth. Okay. So guys, the question is, let's say how you can, you know, create the range of dates. So, so these are the, you know, couple of methods. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you, you know, some other method as well. So let's say seven days I want to print. So PD dot date range and guys, let's say start, you can change the, you know, the particular format as well. So let's say one and one and I want periods, let's say seven. Okay. So look at this. So this is the seven days. Okay. Now what I'm doing here, I have to iterate over the dates and print the number and name of the weekday. Okay. So what do you mean by this? So let's say for day in seven days and here what I want. So print day, which is day of week. I want guys. And similarly, I want day dot day name. Okay. So now look at this. Okay, so Z five for Saturday and six for Sunday, zero for Monday and so on. Nice. 
and similarly in case let's say you want to generate the frequency based on month range okay so what do you mean by this so let's say month range and here pd dot date range and here let's say start equal to so the same date i'm going to pass here so one and one and here periods equal to 12 months i want and guys again i'm going to change my frequency to month okay now so for month in month range and guys what i want i want m month dot month month dot days and month dot month name okay so look at this so no attributes is days okay so what we can do here days in month so guys look at this so this is the first month how many days 31 days and this is the you know you know name of the month so this is the second month 28 days and february third month 31st days and march and so on okay so guys in some cases maybe you want to generate the date based on a specific period by business days okay so how we can generate the date range based on business days so it is also very easy so simple pd dot date range so simple date range and here again start equal to 20221 and one here and let's say and which is so again 2022 and 31st and 01 and here i want the frequency equal to b so Thirty-first. So, guys, look at this. So, we are getting the business days only. Okay. So, this is the you know third uh, of Jan, fourth of Jan, and fifth of Jan, sixth of Jan, seventh of Jan. Then eight and nine will have Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Then eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Then again for fifteen and sixteen, we are getting Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So, you can generate the some specific date based on a specific period by the business days. Okay. And guys, now I am telling you the very interesting part. So in some cases, you want to generate the, you know, uh, the frequency based on week of month or you want every fourth Monday. What do you mean by every fourth Monday? Okay. So for an example, in, in some specific month, you want every fourth Monday's date. So how you can generate? So again, let's say PD dot date range. And here start equal to 2022 and 07 and 01. And here and equal to 2022. And guys, let's say I want to 10 and here 30. Now I'm going to change my frequency. So frequency, let's say week of month. And I want fourth Monday. This one, guys. So look at this so 25th right so of course it will be a monday so again in the next month on 22 we, we will have fourth monday on the september 26 on the 26 we will have fourth monday and for the october we will have fourth monday on 24 okay so this is the very nice example in case you want to you know get some specific date based on the uh, fourth Monday or maybe let's say fourth Tuesday, whatever the day you you guys are targeting. So that particular day you can supply here. Okay. And similarly, let's say in case you want to generate some date range based on the some frequency, uh, you can say that let's say time. So we, you can do that. So PD dot date range. And here start equal to 2022 and any random date right i am going to supply here 0 2 3 0 and colon colon okay and i want periods let's say i want only the 10 10 date and time 
and the frequency let's say 2 hours and 20 minutes so look at this right so this every time let's say 20 hours and 2 hours and 20 minutes so look at this the 230 and we are getting is a 450 and so on and so forth got it okay and guys another thing let's say i am going to tell you so let me import uh, another module for the date time okay so in some cases let's say you want to you know you want only the date so only for monday wednesday and friday okay so you want to see the date from a specific month based on monday wednesday and friday okay so how you will do that so let's say you can take a variable which is week mask and here what you want i want monday i want wednesday and i want friday only okay so i want only the business days right so pd and b date range so guys b means business here okay so start equal to so i'm going to define here date time dot date date time and you can use this method also 2022 and 2 comma 1 and here you want end equal to date time dot date time and again 2022 and 2 comma 28 right and guys i want here the frequency frequency equal to c okay so frequency equal to c for custom business days right so we want custom okay so you because you are going to pass here the week mask based on monday wednesday and friday so the so in case let's say in case you want you know some custom business days so you have to pass the frequency equal to c and here let's say week mask equal to week mask okay now let me run this and let me print the business days so guys you can see here so on the 2nd of feb right we have monday on the 4th of Feb, right, we have Wednesday and on the 7th of Feb, we have Friday and so on, so forth. Okay. So guys, you can see here, right? So these particular two method is very, very important in terms of the generating the random date range based on the frequency. So we have a lot of frequency, let's say like frequency M, frequency year, frequency quarter, frequency second, frequency week, and you can customize your frequency as well based on the business days and let's say you know every fourth monday you want from a specific month and maybe in case you are targeting some frequency based on the hours and minutes so you can use it or maybe if you are going to customize your uh, you know frequency so you can use here you know some specific day you can choose here and you have to choose the frequency equal to c okay so this particular part you have to remember okay guys so guys, I'm hoping let's say you really, really enjoy in this session. In case of any query, if you are facing any issue during the practice or whatever, okay? So guys, you can let me know in the comment. So for now, I'll suggest do practice of this session as much as you can. And guys, again, I will repeat myself. If you are facing some issue, please let me know in the comment. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching and have a great day.